All right, so to get the custom apps on your PS2, you'll need a USB flash drive and the custom app files. Um, so to get the custom app files, go to rackhorizon.com, link will be in the description, and find the download section where there will be three different map files that you can download, one for NTSC deadlocked, one for NTSC upper arsenal, and one for PAL RNC3. Um, so go ahead and just download the ones that uh, are for the game that you play. For this video, I'll just download the NTSC versions of both games. Um, so while that's downloading, we'll go ahead and plug in our USB stick into our computer. And we'll want to make sure that this is FAT32 formatted. Um, if you already know it is, you can skip this step. But if you don't, um, you want to go ahead and format it. Um, before you format it, it will delete everything on the drive. So if you have anything that's important like this, you want to drag it, make a copy of it somewhere before it gets deleted. Now that you've done that, you can go ahead and select FAT32. You can leave this uh, whatever it defaults to, and then just hit Quick Format and hit Start. And then while that's running, it'll format the drive. OK, so now that that's done, <coughs> we'll go ahead and install the maps onto the drive. So we'll first open the deadlock maps. We'll select these files in the DL folder, and we'll drag it into the USB stick. All right, so once that's downloaded, you'll see a couple script files, txt file and a DL folder. And inside the DL folder will be a bunch of uh, map files like this. Um, so now that that's done, you can go ahead and do the same thing for the up your, uh, up your arsenal maps. Select them and then drag them into the folder. All right, so once that's completed, it'll ask you if you want to replace the files in the destination. Uh, those are just the readme files in the script. Uh, updaters, you can go ahead and just replace. And once that fi that is finalized, you'll have a UI folder, DL folder, UI folder full of maps, and a DL folder full of maps, and then a couple update scripts and a readme. Um, real quick, to use the update scripts is pretty easy. Uh, so we'll just, to demonstrate, I'll just delete a map really quick. Um, you right click uh, script file. Uh, for Windows, it's PS1. If you're on Mac or Linux, you can use the .sh uh, file. Anyway, on Windows, you want to right-click this and hit Run with PowerShell. Uh, inside of here, you'll have a bunch of options. Uh, since we downloaded Deadlocked and UIA and TSC, we'll go ahead and just type 1 and hit Enter. Um, checks for Deadlock maps, which it already has all of them because we just downloaded them. And now it's checking for UIA. It, it detects the map we just deleted, so it's going to update it. Cool. So now that that's done, we'll go ahead and eject our uh, USB drive. Once this window's closed, we'll go ahead and take out our USB stick and plug it into our PS2. All right, so now that we're on the PS2, we're gonna connect to the Deadlock server. Um, if you don't know how to connect to our servers, uh, we have another tutorial on how to do that, and I'll put a link in the description for that. So I'm gonna log in, select Deadlock server, because that's the one that has all the modded content. And we're going to be downloading the patch as soon as we log in. Uh, once the patch is downloaded, it'll download the USB drivers. So now that we have that, we'll just go ahead and make a game. And I'm just going to do a deathmatch with default settings. Um, so once you're in game, you want to press start to open the patch config. Hit R1 to go over to the game settings. And then you can use the D-pad to navigate to map override and then select a map from this list. So we'll go ahead and play on the uh, the newest map, Alpine Junction. Uh, so when you close, when you select it and hit triangle to exit the patch config, it'll send this message in chat um, saying the host has updated the game settings. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't detect your maps, it'll also say that you do not have Alpine Junction in this case. Um, and if that happens, um, you just want to double check that <clears throat> The drive is formatted correctly, you have the files installed correctly, and if it's still not working, um, you can try switching the USB drive into the other port on your PS2. If you're running uh, OPL USB, um, you want to make sure that you have a second drive that has the maps on it plugged into your PS2. If it's also on the same drive as the game that's uh, that OPL is running from, um, it won't work. So. 
if none of those help you, then you can join our Discord. We have a tech support channel, and we have a bunch of people that can help uh, help you figure out what's going on, why you can't play custom apps. All right, so to double check that it actually works, we'll just start the game, and we're in. All right, so to get the custom apps on PCSX2, um, you'll want to go ahead and download the custom app files from rackhorizon.com. Link will be in the description. Uh, so find the download section, and then you'll see three maps for each of the games, one for NTSC Deadlock, one for NTSC Up Your Arsenal, and one for PAL RNC3. So whichever games that you have and play, that's the ones you'll want to download your maps for. Uh, for this video, we'll just download the NTSC versions. Um, so you'll see they're downloading. And so while those are downloading in the back, we'll go ahead and run PCSX2. Um, you'll want to be on the latest nightly version. Uh, that's because this method of running the maps uh, was only recently supported. Um, I'm on 1.7.5361. So anything past this is fine. Uh, once, you're, once you have an updated version of the nightly, you want to go into the settings emulation and enable host file system. Make sure that that is checked. And then you want to find your game in your list, uh, right click it and go to open containing directory. When you do that, you'll end up in the folder where your ISOs are. And now you'll want to open the zips that you just downloaded, select all the files and drag them into the same folder as your ISO. I'm going to go ahead and do that for the deadlock maps and the up your arsenal maps since both dl and ui are in the same folder here i'll just put them put these in the same folder but uh, if they're not you'd want to go into pcsx2 select the game open containing directory and then drag them in cool hit replace and so now you'll have a couple script files readme a dl folder with some map files in it and a ui folder with some map files in it um, so real quick before we get into actually testing this, um, I want to talk about the update scripts. So the update scripts exist so that you can just quickly update your maps now. Um, to demonstrate this, I'll just delete a map and then I'll go ahead and right click this .ps1 file and hit run with PowerShell. If you're on Linux or Mac, you can either chmod the script or run bash in, in a terminal, run bash space, and then this file inside of this directory, cd into this directory first, and then it'll do the same thing that you're seeing here. Also, if you're on Windows, you might not have permission set to enable running uh, scripts. So either you can enable those um, with a Google search, or if you are in a Discord, we'll help you out. Um, or uh, if you don't want to go through the hassle, you can just <laughs> you can just re-download the maps again, just like we just did. Um, anyway, so <laughs> once you're in here, you'll see a bunch of options. So we have uh, the deadlocked and UIA NTSC uh, files, which is option one. So we'll just go ahead and hit one and hit enter. And it'll go ahead and just check for missing maps or map updates and update them. So here you can see it, it detected that we deleted a suite, uh, so it downloaded it. And then for UIA, we already had all the maps because we just downloaded them. And once it's done, it'll prompt you to, to exit. So we'll just exit. Uh, so now a suite's back here, and we're up to date. So back inside of PCSX2, we can go ahead and run the game. And we'll turbo through this to make it quick. And the, the process for running custom apps um, in, in the game is basically the same between UI and deadlocked. Um, I'll explain like the differences once we get into the staging lobby, um, but the much of the code is shared between the two. Um, so the, pro the, 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 the process for you guys is very similar. Um, so when you, down uh, when you log in, you'll download the patch. And then after that, you'll download the uh, USB drivers, which we don't really use, but it just downloads it anyway. So we'll go ahead and just create a game. Uh, we'll make a deathmatch with charge boots. Um, doesn't really matter what you make. Um, I believe all the maps support all the different game modes. So once you're into the staging screen, you'll want to hit start to open the patch config, and then you'll hit R1 to switch over to the game settings tab. 
and then you can use the D-pad to navigate and select a map. So we'll go ahead and select, uh, let's, do, let's do Tyrannosis. So <clears throat> when you hit triangle to close the patch menu, it'll give you a message saying the host has updated the game settings. And if it doesn't detect the map, there'll be another message that says, uh, you do not have Tyrannosis. And if that happens, you'll just want to double check that you have uh, enable host file system toggled on um, and that the files are correctly installed onto your into the same folder as your ISO. And if you're still having issues, you can join our Discord and we have a tech support channel where we have people that can help you figure out uh, what's going on. So now that this uh, is selected and it loads, we'll just hit start and it should work. For UIA, by the way, it's the same thing. Make a game, press start, go to the game settings tab, select the map override. Um, the only difference is that if you don't have the map, it'll prompt you, it'll give you a pop-up that says you don't have the map. And I believe it won't let you start the game either. Um, so if it doesn't do that, if it just loads and then lets you start the game, that means you probably have the map. Uh, and yeah, here we go. So now we're in custom port of Tyrannosis in Deadlocked.